I'm the oldest of six children, and I had this crazy perfectionist mother. So my family life was great training for managing a lot of people at Martha Stewart. I was born pretty dyslexic. I practically flunked out of second grade and third grade. The only thing that I was really good at was art. When I went to BU, I actually was thinking of being a teacher. I accidentally took a typography class. It had a strange name, and I thought it was printmaking or something, and I walked into this class, and the guy's giving a slideshow about Baskerville, and I thought, wow, those letters are really beautiful. So I changed my major to graphic design. I was looking for a job in 1975. People were really struggling. I went on 30 interviews, believe it or not. Viking Press was where learning about photography really started for me. Clarkson Potter was looking for their very first art director. They had stumbled upon this kind of illustrated decorating and cookbook format. They wanted to do a lot more of them, so they hired me. Stephen and I met at Clarkson Potter. We were looking for a designer for Martha's wedding book. We had to keep it a secret in the beginning. He had secret names. If Pierre called, it was personal, and if Stephen called, it was business. When House and Garden asked me to be their art director, I was really excited to be able to make that transition. It turned out to be a little less interesting than book publishing. When Martha called and said that she was going to start this magazine, I really jumped at the chance. Very rarely in your life as a designer do you get to start something from scratch. When we started the magazine, we really felt like, well, maybe this generation is ready for a more sophisticated look. Our point of view was being at home can be a creative act. You can find beauty in the small things that you can do for yourself. We realized right away that we touched a chord, that people wanted to know this thing. The first issue sold about 500,000 copies. We grew very fast. Then Martha did a deal with Kmart. It worked out amazingly well because they reached 72 million people. And it wasn't really until Martha started working with Kmart that she became a brand name. And people realized that we were doing beautiful design for the masses. I loved doing video at Martha Stewart when we started working on the iPad. I thought it was thrilling taking what we learned from TV and taking what we learned from print and being able to put that together to give movement to the kind of teaching and the kind of visual experience we had. That was incredibly exciting. It's kind of staggering when you think about being in the same job for 22 years, but it was never the same job. I think a good creative director is somebody who can see the big picture and help everybody move in the right direction toward that vision and be really relentless about it. Your job ends when the entire thing is done and every detail is considered. It was a very hard decision to leave Martha Stewart. I'd been really going great guns for 22 solid years, and I needed a sabbatical. My identity as a designer and a creative director had gotten so tied up in the brand, and I was afraid if I left that I wouldn't have that anymore, that I would not know who I was even. I really wanted my sabbatical to be clean slate, but in the end, I came back to what I loved. I'm in the midst of doing five videos about different artists, which I am producing and directing myself, because none of us want to retire. You know, you don't want to stop working because work is your life. Being hands-on and being happy, that is design and the artfulness of every day.